What's going on everybody? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. I guarantee you coming to Quartzsite is not all about just parking out in the desert with nothing. Uh, this is the uh, Quartzsite Camel Core here. And uh, they're doing a little event here, obviously themed around, if you haven't figured it out, Quartzsite is well known for camels. I forgot the whole history behind that, but obviously uh literally camel stuff everywhere even little baby camels and today is going to be a very special day by the way i will be uploading this video with some nomad internet and there's a link below in the video description of course like always how i'm uploading all these videos i make it to ride a camel today guys yeah Look at this setup. We got live music over there. We got camel rides over there and free food, y'all. That's right, free hot dogs here. How awesome is that? Grilling up all the dogs over there. All right, oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, have fun. All right, put some ketchup on there and uh, maybe go grab a seat over here. Check this out, we got, got Rocky Watson up here doing live music and uh, Nice little bonfire there. And that's right, Camel Crossing. Check it out. Camel rides, 10 bucks. And you can get your picture taken with them for five bucks. All right, and you all know I collect camel cigarette stuff, so that's cool. All right. How's it going? Are you the YouTube guy? I am, yeah. Cool. It's a I'm nomadic Larry. and fanatic. Nice to meet you, Larry. Uh -huh. Jump on. All right, there's our camel. <laughs> I love what you're doing here, man. Thank you so much. Oh, it's good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. 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 Ready? Ready. Here we go. All right, what's my camel's name? Shock Top? I love it. I love it. <laughs> 1,500 pound camel, Shock Top. It's also six foot five to the top of this hump. What do they eat? Just hay, okay. All right. Mostly like horses. Okay. The word for laying down is cush, and that's a French word for laying down. Okay. And that's what we tell them. Cush. Yeah. Hmm. But don't do it now. Yeah, don't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. My buddy's pretty soft, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you get off of I'll let you try to do it. All right. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's so soft. Thank you for the ride. Have a good day, buddy. Uh, let's get her. He's getting big. He's gonna kick the girl butt pretty soon. Pretty soon. Gonna kick Tara's butt. Mm-hmm. Look in your wounds. I think I gotta give that one to Tara. I think I do, buddy. Or did you let her win? D did you let the girl win? Oh, okay. I think it's wonderful seeing the two of them, especially Opie, you know, bring Tara in to play. You know, and still let her win some. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta pack it up, buddy. It is show and tell day. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go to the open house 
Arby bus version of uh, the open house at RTR, which means I got to clean a few things and then uh, get over there for the staging. All right, uh, here we are parked. I am one of the uh, early ones over here. I think there's three RVs and a couple small vehicles. There'll be all kinds of different rigs to look at. So I do have the slides out and I have the RV as ready as ever to show the public. Got my bay open so they can see the lithium batteries and the Victron system as we walk in. Again, I got the main slides out so you can see. What, what I'm trying to show people is how much I've, I've really made this RV custom by pulling out that jackknife sofa. Looks like somebody else just pulled in next to me with a truck camper and some bikes. Well, he is flying through here. Um, and also how I removed the dinette and put in my 70 inch TV. I'm just watching some old YouTube videos. And if anybody wants to take my card, they're welcome to uh, see more there. And uh, then I got the main slide out. I can get some help to put it back in and everything. I just want to show how I changed the bunk area into a custom workstation office space here, as well as turned the bed around the other way so that I could add a lengthy amount of extra storage and then build a toy box for all my RC trucks and everything. So this will be interesting. We're supposed to get started here in about 30 minutes and uh, I will I will be manning my RV. Uh, Tara still has not come out. I'm sure Opie's going to be friendly, but I'm going to have a polite rule that uh, no dogs inside my RV. And I think that's I think that just kind of goes without saying it's like, yeah, I got two kitty cats in here and, you know, that might not be good. Um, but yeah, anyway, open house day. That was a lot of fun. We should probably do this more often because it gets me to, you know, clean the RV, even deep clean the RV, spend a little bit of time. I didn't overdo it or anything, but I didn't want to get caught with uh, a dirty RV. So a lot of fun. Before we started there, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't film anything. Uh, but before we started, I went to see a couple of the schoolie builds and just a lot of custom stuff. Everybody there had done something a little different. And I had over 75 people come into my RV and it was great talking point to talk about all the things that I've changed and the reasons and talk about Dish Network and Nomad Internet and my booster and my computer situation, my editing stuff, my TV and how I built that. I think I, I, think I met a few people that might be adding a 70 inch TV in their RV as well. So uh, I had a really, really fun time with that. And I learned a lot and met a lot of new people, got new subscribers. I met at least two dozen of my own subscribers here at the RTR and handed out some uh, stickers and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that little, little overwhelming with everything coming in and out. And um, anyways, I guess, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the big tent now. All right, back it up. All right, well, uh, Randy, Mobile Traveler, and I, we are either very brave or very stupid because it is busy. This is the busiest time of year here in Quartzsite. Got the big tent over there, got all the vendors over here, and traffic is lined up all the way down the bridge. But we're going to go find some lunch. They're selling some e-bikes over there, Electric Pedals brand. And now we're getting into the private vendors here, so some used bikes new bikes over there these are mostly like rvs you can see the airstream over there so they have plugins for all the rvs we're gonna head over to the big tent first they're selling some flags here and i can smell some food down the way all right um a little little overwhelming this is my first time making it to the big tent and uh, it's quite an experience lots of vendors crazy in here. Who's that guy right there? Oh yeah! Alright folks, we're here at RV LED Lights and look what is on the TV. They got good taste in YouTube videos. Nomadic Fanatic on there. So I'm here with the owner of RV LED Lights who has helped me out several times on the channel. Would you like to introduce yourself and your, and your website? Hi Eric, I'm, I'm Greg Wilson. Our website is rvledlights.com. Come see us and yeah. Yep, right here at the Big Tent in Quartzsite. Thanks been, so much for all your cool stuff, uh, man. And, and I've been trying to meet you forever, dude. <laughs> Good times. It's Good seeing you. Good to see you, too. All right, well, that was uh, a little overwhelming. That place is super, super crowded in there, but lots of cool stuff to see. Now that we're back outside, we smell all the food food smells, so lots, lots of options. All right, we couldn't get any seats over there, so we're going to head over here to Beer Bellies and uh, see if they got any room. All right, it's pretty full here. Randy saved us a seat, so I'm going to get the food. 
All right, finally made it. Got a uh, pager for our food, and uh, Randy got me a beer while I was in line. Life lifesaver there. That's it. It's crazy busy, and it looks like they're setting up a band up there to play some live music. All right, food's arrived. Bacon burger, fries, and uh, Randy's got a cheeseburger with some extra green decorations. Salad. Yeah. Got to have a lettuce with it. Yeah. Good stuff. Go on the ground. Look at this lifted 4x4 four four van conversion, everybody. You want to follow them on Instagram, Gypsy Tribe on uh, Instagram. Peek back here. Yeah, I'll bet this thing goes pretty much anywhere. All right, let's check out the Bushwhacker. It's like a teardrop trailer. It's probably $40,000. It does have an air conditioner. And I guess that's it. A bed and an air conditioner. Interesting. Oh, wait. On the back, you got your little cooler. You got your kitchenette with your stove and everything. And some speakers. That way, your living space inside is a little big. Okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> Bushwhacker. <laughs> Look at this, guys. The hydro lift. What's the weight capacity? Weight capacity on this lift is 1,000 pounds. Lift in total only weighs a 288 pounds. And look at this. One of the pictures even shows the smart car with the motorcycle able to do both. But and then this section talks about the garage enclosure, which if you get this bottom piece, see, debris won't come up on the back. It's like fully self-contained once it sits on that. Interesting. Well, Randy and I just showed up to the RTR parking lot, and as you might be able to see, Rain. it's raining in Arizona. Nomadic Fanatic is here, and Nomadic Fanatic has brought rain to Arizona once again. Lovely. Um, we'll make this probably a short stop, though. I'm not going to take the camera. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> got back to camp here, and, uh, ooh, it is really picking up with the rain. Um... Uh, uh, got in touch with uh, Mike ahead of time and he put a lot of my stuff away uh, my speaker and all my outdoor stuff that was sitting out here he tucked it all underneath the RV for me but um yeah uh, I didn't uh, didn't see this one coming cuz uh, it wasn't forecast <laughs> and now they have uh, added quite a bit of rain into the forecast for the rest of the day and evening out here which means we may get to see what these washes really do if it continues to come down the mountain and down this way uh, we shall see but uh yeah looks like it's gonna be a night inside the rv in arizona tonight um really this is only the second time christmas eve and today only two uh rainy days we've had out here so still a pretty good record right all right so the rain has let up it's getting dark outside we've got randy the mobile traveler up here this is his boys here playing a playoff game here to go on the uh yeah the packers are playing the 49ers there so um we're gonna hang out here inside the rv i got everything packed up to leave we'll actually be leaving the state tomorrow morning and you will see more in my very next video I'm not going to California, so I'll just leave that there, leave you guessing a little bit. You're going to have to wait, or we're going to check out Instagram. Yep. So thanks for joining me, guys. Really loved Quartzsite. It's been awesome. I'll probably be back because I love this area so much, and I love all the cool people around here. But uh, Tara, Opie, and I will see you in the very next video from a new state. Bye, guys.